This morning, the FBI is investigating the photo hacking that targeted Hollywood celebrities. As we first told you yesterday, dozens of intimate photos of major female stars were stolen and posted online. Carter Evans is following the hackers' trial and how Apple might have left the door open for them. Jennifer, right here. The nude pictures of Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence lit up the internet, along with other private and revealing photos, which hackers claim to have stolen from more than 100 celebrities, including pop stars Rihanna and Selena Gomez. We have no idea how this data was lost. We know that the data made it onto phones, and we know that the phones stored the photographs. What we don't know is what happened next. Internet security expert Dan Kaminsky says data hidden within the files reveals most of the images were taken with an Apple iPhone, which is why the company's popular online backup service, iCloud, came under instant scrutiny. One of the alleged victims, actress Kirsten Dunst, was quick to point the finger at Apple on Monday when she sarcastically tweeted, Thank you, iCloud. In a statement, Apple says we take user privacy very seriously and are actively investigating this report. But the company may not have been the hacker's only target. The interesting thing is that we see a little bit of data from other phones and other devices, a JVC camera, a Motorola Razor phone, things that would not normally be associated with Apple's iCloud. The one thing we do know is that in the age of the selfie, intimate or not, this high-profile hacking has sparked a conversation about the vulnerability of our digital lives. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Los Angeles.